Welcome back to the Gotham Expo 2023. I am TK Edmondson. We are here at the Zoom booth. This is Caitlin. Caitlin, thank you so much. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate your time so much for being here with us. Um, we're going to go over what Zoom has to offer and kind of how we could fit this into a location sound world. So take it away. Sure, absolutely. So first up, well, here we have all of our recorders that are in our field line and they're all 32-bit float. So first we'll start with the F8N Pro. Um, this one is similar to our original F8N. The only main difference is um, it would be the new preamps that do support 32-bit float. So it provides you with the option. Um, when it's set to 32-bit float, um, there's no need to adjust gain. So in post, it allows you to adjust levels. So say if you run into any clipping and distortion, you can bring that down. It will remove the distorted artifacts or clipping noises. Where, and then if um, the sound is quieter, if you do bring up the sound, it will add it's very not. little artifacts. Lovely, yeah. All right, so then uh, keep, let's keep going down the line. Yeah. So up next, we have the F6. This is a smaller version. Uh, it's a 6XLR field recorder. Works the same way as the F8M Pro with the 32-bit float. Um, and then it could also be used, same thing with the other ones. They're all audio interfaces as well. Um, and this one with the BTA1 Bluetooth adapter, it can be connected to an F6 control app, and then it can also be used with the UltraSync Blue timecode device. That's right, yeah, the app to just Bluetooth everything. Yes. Um, okay, great. let's keep going. Same thing, uh, the F3, this is our newest recorder. Um, so it is a two input 32-bit field recorder. Uh, as you can see, it's very small, so you could either clip it to yourself or you could tie it up to a boom pole and then just connect the two microphones you need. And again, since it's 32-bit float, there are no gain controls. Lovely. And a uh, body pack recorder set up here with yes. Bluetooth? Uh, this one is the Bluetooth version. Mm -hmm. There is a Bluetooth and non-Bluetooth version. Okay. So with the Bluetooth, you can use it with either the UltraSync Blue for time code. And then you can also use it. There is an F2 control app as well. Excellent. So if you wanted to have that utility, you have an option, basically. Yes, exactly. And then the, the new guy. So this is our newest audio interface. This is the UAC232. Um, it's a desktop uh, audio interface. It's very small, very portable. And with this unit, uh, it can be used. Uh, its main purpose would be for 32-bit for recording in a DAW, or it can also be used for streaming. When using with streaming, we would recommend using it in 24-bit as conferencing and streaming softwares don't have 32-bit built into it yet. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, but if you're using it in a DAW, again, no worry to need about gain. But then over here, we have this is the control app for it. So these two controls here, you can adjust the levels manually. Um, again, if you wanted to um, either use it in 24-bit, or if you think your waveforms are on the quiet or loud side, you could use those to adjust uh, levels going into uh, the software. Nice. And then there's a direct monitor okay. yep. adjustment, mm -hmm. as well as panning. And then you can use it in either a music or a streaming mode. And you get loopback as well. Yes. Um, so for that streaming mode, for those who may be, may be inquiring. Um, well, excellent. So uh, music is more of a multi-track mode. This is the mode we would recommend when recording in a DAW, whether if you're recording a song or doing a podcast. Where streaming, we would recommend using with the live streaming software, such as OBS, um, Zoom conferencing. Um, anything like that, because it routes everything just through the two inputs, including the loopback feature. Lovely. So then this is obviously USB powered, uh, bus powered, this device as well. Yes. Um, are there any hiccups with any other dongle uses if you wanted to run it into a more expanded system, anything like that? Um, so if you wanted to use this uh, with an iPhone, it cannot run off of lightning power when okay. you're using it with the dongle there. So you would have to plug it into an additional USB power okay. as there's a second port back here for that. Lovely. Um, we do have a question right now asking if further Bluetooth compatibility will work with Tentacle or Deity. Uh, as of right now, I don't have that information available. Uh, we ha the only device we have confirmed would be the UltraSync Blue. Okay, yeah, which we, we knew about. Um, okay, any further questions? No other questions, just a lot of love for the 32-bit float. Love it. Um, something I did want to point out was that there are built-in hooks for the um, for strapping these down on several of these recorders, the F6, F3, and the, the UAC 232 as well. So that's a nice utility feature to have for those who, who need that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this one's very nice because you could even wear it on your wrist. That's, that's I, I've seen that. That, that promo. Um, well, cool. If there's um, anything else that we have, uh, anything, any further questions in the chat as well? Nothing at the moment. Okay, excellent. Well, Caitlin, I appreciate your time. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely.